Welcome back to the Aubergine Chef. Now tonight we're going to be making Christmas roses to put on top of our strawberry spiral cake. It's going to help give it a finished look and it's going to help give it a more elegant finish. Um, now Christmas roses aren't really roses as you and I know them. In fact, they're really more like daisies, the way that they're constructed. Almost, not even daisies, they're just very plain flowers. They're super, super easy, they're super quick to make. And you don't even require any like, gum paste glue to make. That's how easy they are. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you're making Christmas roses and any any um, unwired or non-wired gum paste flower is you want to prepare your apple crate. Now, this is um, basically just a fruit crate you can get from the grocery store. If you go and talk to anybody in produce, you can probably get one for free. I mean, this is basically, to them, it's garbage. This is what they ship their fruit in and maybe what they display it with. And the satchel is full of powdered sugar, so I'm lightly putting powdered sugar on top of it so that way when they're drying, um, as the Christmas roses are drying, they won't stick. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to take some of the gum paste and color it um, yellow. I'm using a golden yellow. Um, egg yellow would work too if you would want to use that. And then the next thing is you want to start kneading uh, a big chunk of white gum paste. Go ahead and take that apart. Actually, I almost always forget this step. But you want to take some plain shortening. And you want to wipe down with the shortening part of your vinyl mat. Now this is just a vinyl uh, place mat that you have for your table. I like the vinyl because it's easy to clean. It's basically non-stick and um, it's very smooth. Okay, so you want to take your piece of gum paste. Now I'm using the Satin Ice brand in case you were wondering. Just want to roll it out. And you want to roll it out to the point where you can see through it. So, pretty thin. Um, before you start cutting, you'll want to pick it up. Don't worry if you tear part of it. I just won't use it this time. Okay. And then using your smallest biscuit cutter, and if you don't have one this size, try looking at your piping tips. Sometimes your piping tips you can use as cooking cutters, the straight tips. Um, and you want to cut out as many circles as you can. Okay. Take off the excess and ball it up. Now if you wanted to, you can thin out the edges and fray them like you do with um, roses and some of the more complicated flowers, but if you really want to keep it simple, you don't even really need to do that. So place it in a cup. And then overlap it. Overlap that. And you basically have your Christmas rose shape. So you want to use five pieces.
you're trying to create a star shape. Okay, so to finish off your Christmas roses, take a small amount of the yellow gum paste and roll it up into a ball, and then just flatten it down, and that'll be your center. And see, it's just a very basic flower. It's nothing, nothing fancy. Um, if you wanted to jazz it up, you can use one of your center moldings like you use for dogwoods or for um, cherry blossoms or for any of your more elaborate flowers. This is just one of those, it's a really quick um, gum paste flower that you can use um, when you need some filler flowers or you know your, your kind of last minute flowers you don't really have a lot of time to make gum paste flowers and take out all of your equipment. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them dry overnight and then tomorrow we're going to put some of the super pearl dust on them to give them a nice sheen and then after that we'll put them on top of our finished um, strawberry spiral cake so be sure to watch the ending of that episode if you want to see how how they look on a finished cake okay so it's the next morning our flowers got a chance to dry overnight. I like to put them in a bag just because um, it keeps things from getting on them. I don't know, like flies, bugs, dust. It just feels more sanitary that way. And so as you can see, if you pick it up, it still maintain maintains um, a slightly cupped shape. Now, these are basically done. You can use them like this, but if you want to go the extra step, you can take some super pearl dust, some very just some glittery, food safe, um, food safe. Uh, I'm not really sure what to call it. It's not really food coloring, but anyway, um, what you can do is you can just lightly go over your whole flower to help give it a nice shimmery look to give it a little bit more dimension if you if you think that these are a little too simple. I hope you can see that. That's a little shimmery. And so that's pretty much it for this uh, for this episode for the for the gum paste Christmas roses or however you want to call them, basic, super basic flowers. So you can see that not every time, um, every time you do gum paste flowers, you have to do the most ornate or the most complicated ones. So I hope you learned a lot, and um, I, thanks for watching, and I, I remember, the aubergine chef, demystifying dessert, one recipe at a time.